in a move that has surprised many in the cryptocurrency community. The United States government has announced its intention to sell off 41,500 bitcoins or BTC that are connected to the infamous Silk Road case. This move has led to many questions as to why the government would sell such a large quantity of bitcoin at a time when its value is at an all-time high. In this video, we'll take a look at everything you need to know about the story of the Silk Road. The first reason why the US government is selling these bitcoins is that they were seized as part of a larger effort to combat illicit activities on the dark web. The Silk Road was an online marketplace that facilitated the sale of drugs, weapons, and other illegal goods and services. The site was shut down in 2013 and its founder, Ross Ulbrich, was arrested and sentenced to life in prison. As part of the investigation into the site, the US government seized millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, which was believed to be the primary currency used on the site. The government's decision to sell this Bitcoin is part of its broader strategy to combat organized crime and seize the assets of criminals. Another reason why the US government is selling these Bitcoins is that it wants to exert greater control over the cryptocurrency market. While Bitcoin has been around for over a decade, it is still largely unregulated and its value can fluctuate widely based on a variety of factors. By selling such a large quantity of Bitcoin, the US government is signaling that it wants to play a larger role in regulating the market. It is also an opportunity for the government to establish itself as a legitimate player in the world of cryptocurrency. The US government may be selling these Bitcoins simply to generate revenue. Bitcoin has increased in value value dramatically over the past year, and the government could stand to make a significant profit from the sale. This revenue could be used to fund various government programs or to pay down the national debt. Additionally, the sale of Bitcoin could help to stabilize the market by injecting a large quantity of Bitcoin into circulation. The Silk Road was an online black market that facilitated the sale of illegal goods and services, primarily using Bitcoin as its currency. The Silk Road was an online marketplace that operated on the dark web from 2011 to 2013. The site allowed users to buy and sell drugs, weapons, stolen credit card numbers, and other illegal goods and services. Transactions were conducted using Bitcoin, which provided a level of anonymity for both buyers and sellers. The founder of the Silk Road, Ross Ulbricht, was eventually arrested and sentenced to life in prison. Ross Ulbricht, who went by the pseudonym Dread Pirate Roberts, was the founder and operator of the Silk Road. He was arrested in 2013 and charged with a variety of crimes including money laundering, drug trafficking, and computer hacking. In 2015, he was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The US government seized millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin from the Silk Road, which it has since auctioned off. As part of the investigation into the Silk Road, the US government seized 144,336 Bitcoin, which was believed to be the primary currency used on the site. At the time of the seizure, the Bitcoin was worth around $28 million, but its value has since skyrocketed. The government has since auctioned off much of this Bitcoin, including the 41,000 500 Bitcoin that it plans to sell this year. The Silk Road had a significant impact on the development of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The Silk Road played a significant role in the early development of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. As one of the first major platforms to use Bitcoin as a currency, it helped to legitimize the cryptocurrency and increase its value. The Silk Road also demonstrated the potential for Bitcoin to be used for illicit activities, which led to greater scrutiny and regulation of the cryptocurrency market. The closure of the Silk Road led to the rise of other dark web marketplaces. While the closure of the Silk Road was a significant victory for law enforcement, it did not put an end to the online trade of illegal goods and services. Instead, other dark web marketplaces have emerged to take its place, such as Alpha Bay and Handsome Market. These marketplaces have adapted to the charging landscape of the dark web, and law enforcement agencies continue to struggle to shut them down. The Silk Road case also raises important questions about privacy and government surveillance. As part of the investigation into the site, the FBI used a variety of tactics 
to identify and apprehend Ross Ulbricht, including hacking into the site and tracking Bitcoin transactions. Some have argued that these tactics represent a violation of privacy rights and a dangerous expansion of government surveillance powers. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.